guys, bass drop keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro and a rookie mycologist. I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. The last video that you saw in this series, which is season two of the Uncle Ben's Tech, you saw me spawn to bulk two different 12 quart shoe boxes. If you guys recall in the first one, I used two bags of Uncle Ben's rice. That was the one that I didn't check my fill capacity of the substrate that I used until most of it was already in the shoe box. Because of that, I spawned to bulk another 12 quart shoe box. But with this one, I used the North Spore substrate instead of the bulk substrate that I made myself. And don't forget, if you want to get any of the North Spore substrate, grain bags, or any of the great products that they have on their website, use the code BASEDROPKEYS. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at northspore.com. In today's video, we're going to check in on the shoe boxes. If they have contamination, we're going to throw them away. If they're colonized, we're going to add a casing layer and put them in the fruiting conditions. Here we go. All right, so what you're looking at right now are both the shoe boxes. The one on the right hand side has two bags in it with the substrate that I made myself. The one on the left hand side is one bag of rice with the North Spore substrate. Now that we got the shoe boxes open, let's take a closer look at them. Well, 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 look at this right here. So you can see that that one is fully colonized and the one on the North Spore side, I would say that that one's about 90% colonized. So because of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a casing layer to both shoe boxes and put them both in the fruiting conditions. For all my fellow rookies out there, one thing I do want to make you aware of that you might not know is once the substrate is fully colonized, it is very, very good at resisting contamination. So as you can see, I'm adding the casing layer to my shoe box. This is the Coco Coyer from North Spore. Remember, we've already covered this in previous episodes, but this cocoa is not pasteurized. But as I just said previously, whenever the substrate is fully colonized with the mycelium, it is very resistant to contamination. So that's why we don't have to worry about pasteurizing the cocoa at this point. You guys can see that I'm using my gloves and I didn't say it in this video, but you already know before I started handling everything, I sprayed my gloves with the 70% iso alcohol. But a lot of times you'll see people using their bare hands at this point, because like I said, it's already colonized and resistant to contamination. So I know a lot of veterans that do this part without gloves. I understand exactly why they're doing it. Me, myself, I'm just trying to keep everything as clean as possible. So I'm still going through all the sterile procedures. The casing layer is only about an inch of cocoa. You just wanna make sure that you have your mycelium covered. Basically what this is gonna do, this is gonna help retain that moisture inside the substrate. So whenever the mushrooms are growing, they don't dry out. There's a lot of good benefits for using a casing layer. So I'm gonna add one to both of the shoe boxes. Once you have about an inch of cocoa on top of your substrate, you just wanna spread it around, make sure you get the corners. After that, you just wanna spray it down a little bit with water. You obviously don't want it drenched with water, but you do want this to be moist. After that, I make sure that the top of my lid is clean. I spray it with my Flarisol bottle with water, and then I flip the lid upside down and put it on the top. You wanna make sure that there's a gap showing in between the lid and the container. That way your shoe box is getting that great FAE, fresh air exchange. That is very important for the part of the process that we're in right now. The fresh air exchange, along with the evaporation of the water off the top of the substrate, off the mycelium, that's gonna induce the pinning and that's gonna cause our mushrooms to start growing. So the fresh air exchange is very important. Make sure you have that gap on the top. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier in the video, we're doing the casing layer and putting it in the fruiting conditions 10 days after we spawn to bulk. So we spawn to bulk on February the 3rd and we're doing the casing layer and fruiting conditions on February the 13th. So that's only 10 days. Your substrate should be fully colonized within 10 to 14 days. And real quickly here, I do want to take this opportunity to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel. In the last 28 days, the channel has gotten over 345,000 views and 12,600 subscribers, all within the last 28 days. But what's so crazy about it is, 
out of those 345,000 views, only 18.8% of the people are subscribed to the channel. That means that 81.2% of you guys that are watching are not subscribed to the channel. Man, the channel could have been over 100,000 subscribers already. I'm hoping that we'll get there by my birthday, August the 17th, but we could have been there already if you guys would have been subscribing to the channel. So I don't normally put this on my videos, but if you've been watching the content, hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any post or video when I post. And I'm pretty consistent about posting all the time. If you're watching this and you're a rookie like me, you're probably wondering where you need to get your spores from. If you'll come over to the Rookie Mycologist Instagram account and click on the pin post, I give you six sites that I've already ordered from that I know 100% is legit. Just come over to Instagram and you'll see the information right there. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace guys, Ricky out.